Hey guys, I'm Austin Palm with Flirt Direct, talking to the lovely Katie Sarife Hi. for a new film, Annabelle Comes Home. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing great. Were you a fan of the Conjuring universe or the Annabelle films before joining? Oh yeah. Uh, James Wan is like the god of horror <laughs> right now. I mean, the Conjuring films are some of the most freaking terrifying things I've ever seen in my life. I will admit, before I booked this, I hadn't finished The Conjuring successfully because I was so scared. <laughs> like, I'm such a scaredy cat, but I love them. So finally, when I got this, I was like, I have to finish it. Like, it took me three tries. I did it. I made it out alive. <laughs> hey, you're a trooper for getting through it, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was fun, though. But yeah, it was such a cool honor to be a part of this. How does it feel knowing that you're a part of possibly the biggest horror franchise of the 21st century? Mind-blowing. <laughs> Mind-blowing. It's so overwhelming. I mean, it's such, like, a great responsibility to be a part of this and then to get with, to work with such great minds. I mean, and getting to see the behind the scenes and everything. But if I was going to be a part of any horror franchise right now or any horror movie, I think this is, you know, a pretty solid one to, <laughs> to get. I couldn't agree with you more. To be a part of this, dream come true. Yeah. Now, as a kid, you were terrified of dolls. <laughs> what was it about dolls that scared you so much as a kid? The idea, oh, their eyes, the eyes. It felt like I was always afraid that they were going to be like following me around the room, the eyes, and I don't know, I just had a cabinet full of them, so when you have a cabinet full of creepy doll eyes staring at you at night, how can you not be scared? Plus, the idea that there's dolls like Annabelle, like real, you know, she's based off a real thing, and um, the fact that a demon can possess something so innocent. It's a bit terrifying, to say bit. the least. Yeah, yeah. Your character's a bit of a troublemaker. Yeah. <laughs> so, why do you think that the power of curiosity has us do some kind of stupid things, even though we clearly see signs that say, don't do it. Because <laughs> you want to know what's going to happen <laughs> if you do. Oh, and she, Daniela, comes from like a place of, you know, she has a lot of heart and she lost someone, you know, her father. Right. So there's all these questions and we all want answers to things as far as like touching things that are supernatural. Right. Um, I think we all just want to know. It's just a world thing. Everyone, that's why religion's around, everything's around, is everyone's searching for answers. And I think if you have proof of creepy, evil things, that's proof something else exists, right? Was there anything paranormal that happened to have happened on set? There were quite a few things. Um, there was one scene where um, we, were <laughs> we were coming in through this door and um, Mary Ellen, Mad uh, Madison Eisman, uh, shuts the door and there's a cross hanging on the wall right next to it and um, she did not slam this door hard enough to warrant this to happen but uh, when she shut it Jesus flew off the cross but just Jesus that's the weird thing <sighs> I'm like uh, I don't know and so we all just kind of stood there in silence and it was really creepy um, but yeah the cross remained on the wall and then crosses breaking was kind of a recurring theme whether it be by an accident, someone did it, but it just kept happening. That sounds like a heavenly set. Well, Katie, so thank you so much for joining. <laughs> I course. really appreciate it. I thought the film was so much fun. I yeah. want to see it again, in all honesty. Congratulations, thank and I hope you. to see you in more stuff. Thank, thank you so much. You're so sweet. <laughs>